subscribe and welcome back to the channel. You already know who it is. It's Ron Tom from Metroholics and today we are back in the lab. We got issues with the 240. What else is new? But anyways, we got some cooling issues. It's not overheating. Um, it just gets really hot. But um, we got to chill it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm finally going to get my second E-Fan to work. Um, I only wired up one E-Fan because within the city, driving around town, going to the groceries, um, it does fine, no issues. But when you do take long trips like I did a couple weekends ago, I found out real quick that one fan isn't enough. So we are finally going to wire up that second fan. Um, just an overview of what I have as far as my cooling system goes is... I have the Mishimoto uh, radiator aluminum and also the dual E-fan set up with the shroud. Um, currently one fan is wired up. I do have a relay and an inline fuse and it's ground controlled so pretty much I'm running the ground wire through the firewall and into the cabin. So what we are going to do is we're going to wire up that second fan in line with the first so that both fans run on one switch. Um, decreases wiring. I don't have a lot of wires going through. I just don't like to have it cluttered. So, finally hooking that up in line with the first, running off of one switch, and we should be good to go. I'm hoping, because this thing gets way too hot, and I don't like it. Oh yeah, one thing to mention, to hook up the relay, I think on the other video, the previous video that I did, I used a, like a relay socket. Pretty much you just plug in the relay to the socket and then you use the wires coming out of the socket to uh, wire to wherever you need to wire up. But if you don't want to buy that socket and you want to still use the relay, you can use, kind of hard to see, but you can use like spade connectors. Um, those spade connectors pretty much um, get this, you know, they do the job. If you do it right, uh, spade connectors will work. Um, I'm trying to get it in focus here. So those are the spade connectors right there, the ones connected to the relay. Um, if you use those, you can. No issues, no problem. Um, but uh, if uh, that relay were to go bad, then I have to you know unplug each individual relay and then plug it in. So buying the relay socket or the relay harness allows you to unplug and plug in a new relay at ease. So that's the reason why I'm going to go ahead and use it on the second one. Alright guys, I apologize, I apologize, I apologize. Um, when it comes to wiring, you know, it's one of those things where I just get down to it and I get, you know, sucked in and I forget to film what I did. Um, but what I'll do for you is I'll go ahead and write in the descriptions on what uh, wires go where and what to connect to what prong on the relay and uh, hopefully that'll be able to help you out. But I already did it. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get the filming done. Like I said, I mean... You know, once you get started, you, you know, you, you just keep working. So, I'm going to show you what I did. Alright, so there's a relay right um, there. And uh, what I did was, prong 30 on the relay connected to the positive wire coming off of the E-fan. So, uh, one of these wires right here is positive off that E-fan. And that connects to the prong 30 on the relay. Uh, prong 85 and 87... Um, you can clearly see it. There is a yellow and a white wire. What I did was I bridged those two wires together and then ran one wire and tapped that into my inline fuse, which is right over there. So I tapped it into that. So that's the power source, and that is connected to battery, and that is a 10 amp inline fuse. And lastly, um, prong 86 off of the uh, relay is ground. So what I did was I just connected that to the ground wire that's connected to that fan which is connected to the toggle switch in my car so with that being said the toggle switch is what controls both of the fans in operation um, the grounds that come off of the fans go to the chassis which you can see um, like right over there. It's kind of blurry, but I'll show you what it is But there's a little blue blurry wire right there. That wire is the ground coming off of the fans The grounds coming off of the relay go to the toggle switch So 
just so you guys don't get confused ground on the fan goes to the chassis ground on the relay also known as prong 86 go to a toggle switch and you can mount that anywhere in your car so there is a setup tucked it up all nice and clean so that the wires don't get uh, in the way and uh, that's the reason why we want to tuck it up because you don't want the wires to get chewed up and stuck while that is running and then you're pretty much gonna overheat regardless of what you do so tuck it up make it nice all right that wire right there on the uh, core support is the ground as you can see it's right there all right moment of truth we're gonna go flip the switch and see if this thing works so one second bear with me like they work um, yeah they work sweet got it to work all right so I see the blinking battery sign on my camera I don't know how long I have I tried this quick um, thank you for stopping by this is the end of the video recap we just wired up the second e-fan using a relay and a switch so um, with that being said if you reached the end of the video and you are not subscribed you already watched the video, go ahead and hit subscribe. I do have other videos out on my playlist, um, pretty much are DIYs or guides on how to do stuff on the 240. Seeing that we bought a bucket, it breaks all the time, but we still love it. Um, but the content there is hopefully um, helpful and beneficial to others who are trying to fix their 240. Um, if you know friends who just got into the 240 game that really don't know what they're doing, I know it's a daunting task. But um, there's a lot of guys out there who've worked on these cars for years and over time learned how to do a little bit here and a little bit there. Um, so I'm hoping that you can share my content. If I'm helping you out, you can help out somebody by sharing my uh, videos. And also, um, stop by my store, savageones.bigcartel.com. Again, that's savageones.bigcartel.com. I sell slaps, shift boots, and shift knobs, all for the 13, the S14. With the exception of the shift boots, I'm still trying to figure out how the shift the how the shift boot works on the S14. Seeing that the mounting on it's kind of wonky, on the S13 there's a shift boot ring that you can remove and mount up a new one. But the S14 you got to buy this whole you know brand new plastic piece deal, so it's kind of wonky. But I'm still working on it. I have love for you S14 guys. I love the S14 platform. Um, so if you guys got a worn out shift boot. I'm gonna come out with this all black suede to be pretty uh, pretty low key, pretty styly, swag out the interior. Um, I do sell shift knobs, they're 3D printed. Um, total length on the knob is a 130. It's pretty good, I like it. I mean, it sounds kind of biased, it's mine, but it does pretty well. It's a good shift knob, it's solid. And also, one last thing, please, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Likes, hit the thumbs up, if you have comments, leave them below. If you ordered something from me, it's on its way. Um, with all my orders, whether you buy it on my website or you search for me on um, eBay, you get free shipping within the U.S. And also, it'll come with a tracking number. Um, we all know how that you know that waiting game is. We don't care when you bought it. We just care when it comes, right? So I have free shipping and tracking available on anything you buy from my store. So hopefully that helps you guys out, you know, um, as well as uh, helps me out by supporting me. You'll support my channel. I'll come out with better content. Um, obviously, it'll be 240 related since that's what I'm working on right now. And like I said, you know, there's a plethora of problems that comes with the 240. It's not like a Ferrari. You didn't buy a brand new car. You bought a 19 year old bucket and the damn thing just breaks and it breaks at the worst time. And when you think you finally got the one up on it, it'll break in five more different areas that have no relations to what you just did the fix on. So, with that being said, thank you for stopping by. And once again, for all you guys who already know what it is, hype is for the moment and style is forever. Deuces.